for some new music from Skits. Craven Session 9 is the name of the song. You know the mission. Spread mental health awareness to the world. Tom Stevens, your resident psychotherapist. Without further ado. Can't wait to hear what this one's got. Skits Craven Session 9. Today's date is October 22nd, and we are continuing Evan's outpatient treatment following discharge. Oh, wow. It's like some therapy action going on here. Oh, it gives me the... Sometimes it makes me feel like it gives mental health a bad name when you hear this, this kind of serious, dark, this is Dr. Nick Forrest, today's date is... You know, the old tape recorders? When I started in this field, that's what we used... We had audio recordings of different notes that we would do. And this is like discharge, I guess, from um, from a treatment facility where you go outpatient. So if you go inpatient somewhere and you got to stay to be able to have a stint of, you know, a week, a couple weeks, month, whatever, usually a week. But then you go outpatient. You see somebody at an office and it's a carryover thing. So I'm very curious. Skits Craven, session nine, October 22nd. This is Dr. Nick Forrest. Today's date is October 22nd, and we are continuing Evan's outpatient treatment following discharge. Hey, Evan. Who are you? How's your week been lately? Tell me what is new. Fuck you. Okay, why? I don't really know, but I don't want to be here. I get it, but to stay out of the ward, outpatient completion is needed, so let's make some effort. You really want to talk back? Okay. Oh, no, this is freaking me out, y'all. Wow, like... I've had some people in my office at times, I'm like, man, this is a little uncomfortable, you know? Like hearing them, seeing them, and sometimes they don't seem like they're all there. And he's presenting like, all right, if you want me to unleash things, I'm gonna tell you what's really going on. Hopefully it doesn't get him sent back to the ward. I hate how they say the ward, you know, like the mental ward. Because that's the worst part of our mental health treatment program is it ends up padded wall, white, place sterile you know white walls white padded walls sterile laying on these freezing cold beds and it, it just gives it such a bad name and we do a bad job of that we need to do more to be able to help but i just wonder what he's about to unleash completion is needed so let's make some effort you really want to talk back okay Education is an inconvenience, especially when already an evil genius. Yeah, I no. walk through life holding hands with demons. Everyone I ever see, I want to stop from breathing. My roommate prevented me from ever sleeping. He would snore all night. I would want crack pipe, might as well, right? Because with all of his snoring and group early morning, I ain't sleeping anyways. Been out of the world Gosh. for a month, so I assumed I would start loving my life. I assumed I would stop cutting wrists with the knife. I assumed I would stop having terrors at night. Call it wishful thinking, because all I want to do is increase the creeping. I black out mixing all these pills. Oh no, this is, <laughs> the doc is chill. The doc is just laid back, no problem. It's like he throws, I don't know if it's the pills towards him. He's just saying, this is such a good mental health song because he's saying what happens to so many people. I just thought if I got this treatment, life would get better. I would enjoy things. I wouldn't have these crazy nightmares. I wouldn't you know, want to hurt myself. I wouldn't want to go out and cause destruction. And... I wouldn't want to use, I wouldn't, I thought this would help, but nothing's helping, Doc. You're sitting here listening to me take notes, recording the session. But look, what is this really about? And that's how I feel as a mental health professional. What can we do to help more? And I think a lot of times the more is diving into trauma. It's not sitting here as a, I'm not supposed to sit here and say, okay, go ahead. And I'm just not going to talk. I want to be an active participant in this and talk about what really has happened in life because we get gripped with that. We get tied into it and hold on to it. And it, it forever keeps us from being, from thriving. Wow, what is he doing? Cause at night call it wishful thinking. Cause all I want to do is increase the creeping. I black out mixing all these pills with drinking. I overthink plus my neighbors telling me my basement stinking. Evan, I know. I understand life since the word has been tough, but just think about all of the progress you've made. You used to cut every day, now it's once in a month. I would say that's a little success. But tell me, how are you dealing with stress? Are you taking the meds I prescribed or just self-medicating instead? Uh, well, yeah. Doc, kind of funny you asked. I'm high as fuck right now with a pill in my ass. Aww. When I use like that, I get high real fast. So the longer ah. it's in, the longer it lasts. What a blast, right? Forget it. 
I know they wanna see me committed Stop acting like I got a fucking best friend, Nick When I thought I had a friend, I didn't I just wanna get throat slit I just wanna carve real nice I wanna dig all in their organs Murder for me keeps me focused Body parts sorted Organization's important Limbs in the bins I keep groping Rubbing lotion I gotta throw the extras in the ocean I'm a straight killer, I admit it the Roger murders, I did it I left the word violently Then I took myself a long drive To commit a crime, you see A family made up of three I found them with ease Their bodies were mine to be I started off looking in windows Stalking excites me I love invasion of privacy Yeah, Toya was combing her hair I just started to stare I was trying to peek and see The titty she grew in a week She was heading to college So I had to teach Mr. Roger Would talk about his family Like you're doing with me Every couple of meets You shouldn't though You know I'm crazy, Nick Been thinking about your relationship a loyal wife that raised the kids their college pay what a way to live i know you have a daughter and son oh, this is this is probably going to give me nightmares <laughs> it's like so realistic this is a true story this really tells like and in mental disorder especially like a person here as he's describing is a patterned you know, serial problem here. This is this is an ongoing, especially when you investigate. He's investigating the doctor's family. He's going out trying to find people to attack. And sometimes people are beyond help. Sometimes they are, it doesn't mean they don't get help or shouldn't get help. It just means they're beyond help from healing and saying, I'm past this now. Like, I'm not going to do this anymore. Sometimes they're past that. But this is getting more and more creepy for me, and it's feeling more and more personal. Like, I don't, whoa, if this was me, oh. They raised the kids, their college pay, what a way to live. I know you have a daughter and son. Your daughter's off to college, I bet that's fun. She's what, like 22? I bet you're hating how fast she grew. I bet you hate she has big boobs. I bet she's real good with the dudes. I bet she never pays for booze. I bet she's eating dick like food. Aww. Oh no, what's the matter, Nick? You're looking like you just saw a ghost. Don't stress out now. You gotta keep your head up. Yeah, he can see me. He can see me in session. I'd be like, bro, I think I'm done, man. There's limits for me. I don't think I can take it. Oh gosh. Oh, this is this is more than I asked for. No, what's the matter, Nick? You're looking like you just saw a ghost. Don't stress out now. You gotta keep your head afloat. Cause tonight I'll invade your home. You gotta save your own. Yeah, our king's gotta keep his throne. You gon' learn there's no killing me. I'm on a killing spree. And Doc, you're the next to see my right night stands where your head will be. You bought a crib in the Hamptons, right? Only 20 minutes from the office. Tight. Man, you're like this shit now. Wouldn't it suck if your spleen got ripped out? Damn, Nick, you're looking like you need a cig. Wow. Take a sip of water and chill out. You still got like seven more hours to live. You should really be spending this time with your kids. <laughs> Anyways, Doc, are you happy we talked? No, I'm not. To be totally honest, I'm not. I'm not. This is really a lot. It's brutally honest. It's what some people, it's a small percentage. Some people have gone through, some people think about, but he's like he's done his research and he's he's saying look you glad now you want to have session with me now because if i'm honest i'm gonna tell you and you're not gonna like it anyways doc are you happy we talked because of okay, that okay I that's enough the statements you just made to me are very disturbing i'm not sure if this is a way you express yourself as a release or if these threats are serious but you know that I have to report any harmful threats, especially ones toward me and my family. If this is the case, then our session today has wow. come to an end. <sighs> no, Doc. Of course these are just empty threats. My old psychiatrist, Dr. Roger, back in Wisconsin told me that saying my urges out loud was a healthy way to manage them so I don't have to kill. But with him and his family being murdered just a few weeks ago, I'm feeling overwhelmed with emotion, which is essentially causing me to lash out verbally. But don't worry, Doc. I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm not gonna hurt your family. And most importantly, I'm not gonna hurt anyone else. I promise. Oh my goodness. Scary.
Gets Craven Session 9. What in the world happened with Sessions 1 through 8? And is there another one beyond this, or is that it? Did the doc say that's it? Done. Fingers crossed behind the back. Like, yeah, I'm just telling you what you want to hear so that I can get myself out of here so I can go keep doing what I'm doing. This is like a Netflix series I want to keep watching. It's disturbing, but it's interesting at the same time. Skits Craven. I'm glad I heard it, and now I'm disturbed I heard it. I wonder if that's a good thing. I think so, but I'm not sure. Woo! Remember, though, this isn't real therapy. That might have been. I'd be curious if that's an actual story or if this was all created from him. If you want help, please check the links in the description. You need to get help if you feel that way at all. Please, please. Oh, and leave us your comments. Let me know what you think about this. Am I diving into a dark hole of skits? craven at this point or am i not mental health matters let's spread it to the world see you on the next reaction therapy